Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. It's been a while. You may have noticed that I'm not in my usual location. I got a new camera! Yay! That I'm a lot clearer than I usually am. That is because I got a new camera. And it is awesome and I love it. But Natalie, what does getting a new camera have to do with where you are? Very good question, unnamed viewer. Probably my only viewer. That is because there's something wrong with my camera where it's blurry unless it's zoomed in at like three. So that's why I'm all the way across the room right now. Okay, also, a thing that I'm going to be doing is collecting YouTube t-shirts. And I'm going to wear one in every video. And right now I'm wearing Mika Kitty that says, I lost the game. And you all lost the game. Yeah, I have two right now. I'm going to wear the next one in the next video. And I'm still working on it because you have to get them online. So I'm still collecting. I will collect all of them. I'm talking to you today because after watching some people that can drive, that I know drive, I've come to some conclusions. And I said this to all of them. One, two, three, four people that I asked who are adults that drive. And I said to them this. You see, what I've concluded from watching people drive is that whenever they get into a situation, they are always right, and the other person is always wrong. No matter the situation, they are always right. And every single one of them, all four of them, said this. Well, that's not true. Well, they're sometimes right. It depends on the situation. You know, I'm not always right. You don't get it, do you? It was a joke. I know that you're not always right, but whenever put into a situation where there's one person right and the other person's wrong, it always seems to be blamed on the other person. You could have crashed into someone in a parking lot. They could not have been moving. No one's even in the car and you crash into them. It's like, oh, they weren't supposed to be parked there. This is their fault. No, it's a joke. I know that you're not always right. From what I've seen, if they had done the same thing to you, it would have been their fault. But because it's the other way around, it's still their fault. What I'm saying is that drivers are angry all the time. After they've been driving for a while, all these people I asked were adults, they seem to become very bitter about other drivers. I don't want to become bitter when I become old enough to drive. I want to be, eh, okay, it was my fault this time. Me and my friends all did this thing that what will be like when we're old enough to drive. Mine would probably be like this. All right, I'm, I guess I'm pretty good at this. Hey, look, what's that? Crash. So what do you guys think it would be like in that situation unless you can drive already? And how is it for you? I'm totally jealous. I wish I had a license. Only two years left eh, before I can drive at all. I guess three years before I can, like, drive by myself. But yeah, so thoughts on cars and stuff, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Totally just stole that from someone. Goodbye. Blurry. Goodbye. By the way, did you notice my earrings? There. Pegasi, I guess. That's the plural, right? So, did you notice my Pegasi earrings? Focusing the camera. Ah. Brain fart. Can I see it?